viewers once again from Massey Studios and Virtual Students Academy my name is Siddiq Ahmed Khan and today I brought a very very interesting video for you which is how to learn active and passive voice let's have a look at the five rules Remember, there are only five rules. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. There are only five rules. Have a look at it and I believe you can memorize them very easily. Rule number one. Subject will turn into object. Means subject will jump on the place of the object. Rule number two. Object will jump on the place of subject. Okay, they are changing their places. Number three, verb will always, always get third form. Remember, third form always. Doesn't matter which tense you are in or which form of tense you are in. And helping verb will come before verb. Yes, there will always be a helping verb. And there will be by 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 after the verb always yes remember guys uh, noun remains noun when you turn a sentence from active voice to a passive voice noun remains noun with its adjective but pronoun cases are different if subject is i i will change into me in objective case please Try to learn by heart this chart. It's very easy. There are three cases of pronouns. Number one, subjective case. Number two, possessive case. Number three, objective case. But in active and passive voice, we are going to focus on first and last column, which is subjective case and objective case. For example, when he will jump on the object place, then it will change into him. Similar way, they will change into them. I will change into me. Guys, let's have some example. And remember, these examples are present in definite tense only. I'm not going to discuss any other form of a tense or any other tense in today's video. What I'm going to talk is present indefinite tense. What I did, I wrote here three examples. He eats mangoes, they play hockey, I love my village. Let's see these active voices, how they will change into passive voices. Correct. Let's follow the rules. Number one rule is subject will move to the object place according to the pronoun cases table. He eats mangoes. Here, he is the subject and subject is going to the object place. So, he will change into him. Correct. They play hockey. They will be jumping on the place of object and it will change into them. I love my village. I will turn into me. Rule number two is object is taking over subject place. Yes, mangoes is coming in the beginning. That's why you can see M is capital. Mangoes, hockey, H is capital. And as I said in previous slide, uh, you will bring object with its adjective, my village. So, village is not coming alone, it's coming with its adjective, which is my village. Okay, let's look at the rules again. Subject is going to object place. Object is taking over subject place. Verb is always in third form. Look at the example. He eats mangoes. Okay, he is going on the place him. As per our pronoun cases table, mango is jumping on the subject place. So the sentence is mangoes him. 
and you look at the verb verb is eats eats in turning into now you look at the verb verb is eats eats is changing into third form of the verb please remember verb always third form now it is eaten so mangoes eaten him and i told you you will use helping verb before verb so mangoes are why i am using are because mangoes is plural and i am in present indefinite tense so mangoes are eaten and we will use by after immediately verb mangoes are eaten by him i hope you understood look at second example they play hockey hockey played them hockey is played by them yes why i use is because of present indefinite have a look at the last and third example i love my village yes my village is loved by me correct views what is very important five rules and i believe uh, we brought the easiest possible change of active voice into passive voice thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and please share with your friends and family bye bye from virtual students academy